Hey guys, it's Kaylor. Welcome to the YouTube channel. In today's video, I have another Webflow tutorial for you guys. We're going to create a vertical sticky scrolling effect. So you can see on the left side, we have that content sticking throughout this entire section. Then when we get to the end of the section, we continue scrolling. So I'm going to show you how to set that up. It's very nice for these vertical cards. So let's go ahead and dive right into today's Webflow tutorial. Just like all of my Webflow tutorials, you guys will need a Webflow account. They're free to make. I have my affiliate link at the top of the description if you guys want to sign up using that. So let's go ahead and start with a blank project. So I'm just going to select that, going to name it and create the project. With our newly created project, the first thing we're going to need is a div block. So I'm going to hit command K and type in div to create a div block. And this is going to be our content container. So we'll just call this main container. I always like to set a max width. So I'm going to set that to 1100 pixels. I'm going to select this icon right here next to spacing. And that's going to set that to auto on the left and the right. And that's going to make sure that everything is centered on the page. And then I'm also going to add 40 padding to the left and the right on this container as well. So that our content's not touching the side of the browser. We're going to have two div blocks inside of this container. So I'm going to go ahead and create those now. The first div block, I'm going to give it a class of left. And the second one is going to have a class of right. To actually get these on the left and the right side, I'm going to select the main container, display a flex. I'm going to align these to the top and justify space in between. So now we have our div on the left and our div on the right. I'm going to go ahead and start with the div on the right. Inside of here, I'm going to create another div. And we're going to call this right card. This right card is going to have a fixed width of 500 pixels. I'm going to give it a background color of black. And inside of that right card, I'm going to give it a heading and a paragraph for some content. I'm also going to create a div block for a little square that's going to add some style up here in the top left. I set its height and width to 10 pixels. I'm going to go down to the border and change that to white. And now you can see we have this little white square up there. For the overall right card, we're going to give it some padding now. Let's go with about 50 all the way around. And then on the bottom, we'll make it slightly larger and set that to 100 pixels. We're going to have more than one card below this, so I'm also going to set that margin on the bottom to 100 as well. Another thing I'm going to do is select our div block, and we're going to give this a name. I just called it style square for now, and I'm going to add 200 pixel margin on the bottom of that just to give that card a little bit of height there. The original web example was for gods and monsters, so I'm just going to go ahead and stick with that theme. I'm going to style the headings to white and the paragraphs to white with a 50% opacity. So there is our card that we're going to be using for this example. So I'm just going to select that and copy that a few times. So for the left hand side, I'm going to select that. Command K, I'm going to give this a heading and a paragraph. Just paste it in a bit of text there. Right away, we're going to need some space in between these two sections, the left and the right. So I'm going to select the left div and on the right hand margin, we'll set that to 200 pixels. So we have a nice gap in between there. To start creating our example, we're going to need two sections. So we have a bit of room to scroll through. So I'm going to select the body and hit command K, create a div block and I'm going to give it a class of spacer. The height is going to be 100 VH, so it has some nice height. You can set that to a default height if you'd like. And I'm just going to set it to black for now. So you can see we have this nice section. Selecting that, Command C, Command V to copy it. And I'm going to drag one on the top of the document and one on the bottom. So here would be our hero section. We're going to scroll down. We need some spacing up here. So on the main container, I'm going to go up and give this a padding of about 200 pixels, just like that. So if we hit the live preview, we have our hero. We scroll down and we have this section and then we have another content section. So now we want this left hand side to stick as we scroll through each one of these cards. So let's go ahead and toggle that off. I'm going to select the left div and I'm going to go to the position 
and I'm gonna set this to sticky. I'm also gonna select the main container and set that to relative. So this left card is relative to the main container instead of the body class. And with sticky, it's not gonna do anything until we set a value in one of these positions. So if I want this to stick at 100 pixels from the top of the browser. So by setting that, when I go to the live preview, when I hit 100 pixels here, it's going to stick. And then down here at the bottom, when it hits this next content section, it's going to stop. So to make it look just a little bit better, I'm gonna select that left card and on the bottom, gonna add a 100 pixel margin there so that when it gets down to the bottom, it sticks and continues scrolling. So that's pretty much it for today's tutorial. From here, you can add some content, like filling out the hero section and adding another section below and continuing on or just adding this into your own website. I even put an image here in the left hand side in the background. It's a position absolute and I've just positioned it behind the paragraph. So it's gonna stick with that left hand section. So once you've finalized all that, you now have the finished example for this layout with the sticky left hand side scrolling through the rest of this vertical section. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you guys wanna see more Webflow tutorials like layouts like this or things like horizontal scrolling, let me know down in the comments what you guys want to see. Make sure you guys subscribe for more Webflow and design related content. And as always, have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next one.